everybody, welcome back to Built Not Bought Campers and today we've got something slightly different. We've got a van tour for you. Now, I know the V-dub scene is a big, big scene for people and it's huge. And it's a scene I like, I do like. And some of the transporters around, the caddies, crafters, I love them. That's why we have a craft in the workshop. As you see behind me, I'm not in the workshop today. I've met up with a friend of mine. We've been friends for quite a while now. And yes, he owns a V-Dub. And he's agreed with me to do a van tour. So, before anything else, before I start waffling about anything else, let's do it. Right, so if you've just seen the outside of this van, this is my friend Gary. We've been friends for about 18 months now. This is okay. Gary. How are you doing? Right, so how long you had the van then, Gary? Uh, approximately just over 18 months I've had the van. Cool. Nearly as long as he's known me. How well is that? How well is that? Great. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to start at the front, right at the front of the vehicle and work our way back outside. Then we'll show you the inside. As you see the front, a couple of modifications on there. He's got some nice... LED lights there and the halo spotlights. What engine's it got? It's got a 2.5 BNZ engine in it, which is actually the five cylinder Audi engine in it, and it's a six speed. He knows his stuff, which is good because I don't. So we've got a six speed 2.5 engine. Any other modifications made to the engine? Uh, standard engine, standard turbo has actually been taken out, and it's actually been it's actually been put a hybrid tuned engine from uh, a place in Nottingham, uh, which actually took my took my turbo out, done a hybrid, tuned it, and obviously, you know, I had a, a local mechanic basically put it straight back in here. Powerful little number. How much power? 250 brake horsepower. In a VW camper, it's crazy, it's great, but it's good. Anyway, right, so that's the engine. We've got a six speed box in it. Um, let's move around the side, let's have a look. I mean, the colour is just amazing. So, right, so as we move around the side, he's got all the decals on the side, which really set this van off. Uh, you go inside, and I do like the burgundy. The burgundy and the green together is lovely. And what colour is it? It's actually Volkswagen Cobra Green. It comes off a of Sirocco, is that? Sirocco Green, something? No? Yes. Yeah. Sirocco Green. So, and it's all been colour coded on the dash, as you can see. The seats in this are non standard. Apparently, they're out of a Ford KA, but they do make the van. They are really nice. And the, everything else, it's heated as well, heated seats. Very cool. All right. If you go to the top of the van, how much wattage of solar have you got on there? Uh, the actual the solar panel is actually 300, it 320 watts. Um, 320 watts of solar. Right, now we come to the interesting bit. Look at that, using the Victron Solar MPPT. So how are you getting on with the MPPT? Brilliant, can't fault it. Love it. Actually, you go on your phone, you download the app, you go onto Bluetooth, it tells you what wattage you're doing and everything else, and I think I actually went on the app about two or three days ago, and ever since I've had that that, um, that little bit of a gadget, it's I've actually accumulated 300 kilowatts. No, was it? Yeah, no, 32 kilowatts over the over the time that I've had, actually had that, which you could I couldn't do it with a 16 or 20 pound controller anyway, which that's what I had before. Victron is the way forward. I've always said it, and I still swear by it. Victron is the way forward with your solar these days. Not because we sell it, but because everybody's got it, never regrets, never goes back. Right, before we go on to the full tour inside the van, um, did you build all this yourself? Yes. Really? It is all bespoke. There's no, what do you, what do you call it? There's no IKEA flat pack. Perfect. It's, everything's all been hand built and bespoke and actually been virtually handmade from start to finish. Lovely. Bit of a family affair, I understand, as yes. well. Yes, yeah. I've done all the electrics. Since my dad was a, uh, a carpenter by trade, he's the one who done all the woodwork and done all the scribing. And God bless his soul, basically my mum decided to do all the uh, all the upholstery. Uh, 
I have to say, I love the design on the upholstery. I'll tell you something, I was expecting when we opened the door on the van to find a lime green or a very bright green upholstery, but you haven't, you've got this. It's a tartan, pink, black, white and grey tartan, and I think it's amazing. And it's the last thing you expect to see when you open up this van. And I'll give you a little sneak peek through the back doors here. Now, I'm loving your table and the tabletop. Now, how did you manage and where did you get that from? I only sourced it from eBay. eBay? Yeah, okay. eBay. I just typed in VW decals and that's what come up. And it come up as a wrap? It come up as a wrap. I love it, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Right, something else I love in this van. And that is the VW emblem put behind the carpet. And, uh, all these little things in this van are so, so unique and so nice. So under the bed at the back, you have, uh, obviously it says LPG on board, so I'm guessing that's where the gas bottle is. That is. Look. Yeah, the gas bottle there. All strapped to the floor, which is good. Cute little bottle in a cute little space, perfect. And what's over the other side of the bed? The other side is just purely storage, which actually goes from here, and it goes all the way to the front of the van. So if you want to carry flag poles, or, you know, big bits of awning pole, basically, it's all the way through. Perfect. So what we do now, we move around to the side of the van, and we'll take you inside to have a look at the table and the chairs from that angle, and we'll show you the kitchen area. Apparently that's all hand built as well. Nothing flat pack, nothing, no pods or anything like that. It's all been hand built by his dad. And that's not been used, for, they've not used furniture board on this van either. They've used uh, MDF and wrapped every part of it. Right, so we both won't fit in the van because I'm a chunky fella. <laughs> but chunky fella. Gary's going to explain all about inside and the kitchen area. All the kitchen area is basically made out of MDF, um, actually been wrapped with a carbon fibre top with also with a sink and cooker all built in um sergeant e ec160 power supply which controls the lights or your 240 your 12 volt anything else just to prove it's all been out built out of mdf obviously that hasn't been wrapped that's just kept it as standard as it is but what you do is but the wrap is really good uh because as soon as you take the wrap off uh, you can actually re-stick it without uh basically with no problems at all and that's yeah amazing absolutely amazing so where did the wrap come from or did you just source that in different places the wrap has actually come from b and q it's uh it av averages anything between 7.99 to 9.99 a roll um you are sort of like struggling with colours, they, they only do something like five or six colours, but most of it is like light grey, dark grey, black, you know what I mean? But I must admit, it, it just, it sets it off, it really does. Right, so I'm not gonna get him to do it now, I'll get him to do it a bit later, but this table comes off of these legs and it goes down, which creates their bed space. So a little bit later in the video, I will show you that once they put it back to where it should be. As you can see, it's all MDF under here. So you got storage under there as well? I've got storage under here. Right, storage is actually all the way along. Oh wow, look at that. And they are they are actually on struts. Gas struts. Gas struts as well. So, so No you, trapping your fingers and no banging your head or anything? And if obviously if you take that off, they will actually stay up. Now that makes life a lot easier. So you're not going to hold it while you're putting stuff in and out? No. Fantastic. You don't have to hold it with your head either. <laughs> That's my trick usually <laughs> in my van. But yeah. I can see a VW bolster at the back there as well. Love them. Yes. Uh, what was it? The lady called Sheila Walker. Which is, she loves to show. So, and basically she actually makes cushions, bolsters. That's amazing. And also... And it matches your other upholstery. As soon as I saw you, I knew an adventure was going to happen. Oh, how sweet is that? That is perfect. And she made that? Yeah. That is amazing. 
I might have to find her on Facebook or somewhere to see what we can find. Maybe put in a link in the description below if I can find her. Right, so that's the interior of the van for now. I might put a photograph of the bed made up a bit later on. So there you have it. VW Transporter T5, long wheelbase. It's been lowered a little bit. It's got side rails on it. The whole look of this van is absolutely amazing. I keep threatening to get one and now I've seen Gary's, oh, oh man, I think next year could be my year for a T5. That's it from me now, and that's it from Gary. Good afternoon, see you later. And I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I really hope you like what you see here. Maybe you've been inspired to do your own camper. Build something for yourself. If not, come see me, I'll build one for you. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're staying well. Most of all, staying very, very happy. And it's bye for now.